I am Ra. I greet you in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. We communicate now. Question 47.1 Questioner, could you first give us an indication of the condition of the instrument? Answer, I am Ra. It is as previously stated. Question 47.2 Questioner, the question that I was trying to ask at the end of the last session was, of what value to evolution or experience with respect to the Creator knowing itself are the positive and negative social memory complexes that form starting in fourth density, and why was this planned by the Logos? Answer, I am Ra. There are inherent incorrectness in your query. However, we may answer the main point of it. The incorrectness lies in the consideration that social memory complexes were planned by the logos or sub-logos. This is incorrect, as the unity of the creator exists within the smallest portion of any material created by love, much less in a self-aware being. However, the distortion of free will causes the social memory complex to appear as a possibility at a certain stage of evolution of mind. The purpose, or consideration which causes entities to form such complexes, of these social memory complexes, is a very simple extension of the basic distortion towards the creator's knowing of itself, for when a group of mind, body, spirit becomes able to form a social memory complex, all experience of each entity is available to the whole of the complex. Thus the creator knows more of its creation in each entity partaking of this communion of entities. Question 47.3 Questioner, you gave the values of better than 50% service to others for fourth density positive and better than 95% service to self for fourth density negative social memory complexes. Do these two values correspond to the same rate, shall I say, of vibration? Answer, I am Ra. I perceive you have difficulty in expressing your query. We shall respond in an attempt to clarify your query. The vibratory rates are not to be understood as the same in positive and negative orientations. They are to be understood as having the power to accept and work with intelligent infinity to a certain degree or intensity. Due to the fact that the primary color, shall we say, or energy blue is missing from the negatively oriented system of power, the green-blue vibratory energies are not seen in the vibratory schedules or patterns of negative fourth and fifth rates of vibration. The positive on the other hand, shall we say, has the full spectrum of true color time-space vibratory patterns and thus contains a variant vibratory pattern or schedule. Each is capable of doing fourth density work. This is the criterion for harvest. Question 47.4 Questioner, did you say that blue was missing from fourth density negative? Answer, I am Ra. Let us clarify further. As we have previously stated, all beings have the potential for all possible vibratory rates. Thus the potential of the green and blue energy center activation is, of course, precisely where it must be in a creation of love. However, the negatively polarized entity will have achieved harvest due to extremely efficient use of red and yellow orange, moving directly to the gateway indigo bringing through this intelligent energy channel the in-streamings of intelligent infinity. Question 47.5 Questioner, then at fourth density graduation into fifth is there anything like that which you gave as the percentages necessary for third density graduation into fourth in polarization? Answer, I am Ra. There are, in your modes of thinking, responses we can make, which we shall make. However, the important point is that the graduations from density to density do occur. The positive-negative polarity is a thing which will, at the sixth level, simply become history. Therefore, we speak in an illusory time continuum when we discuss statistics of positive versus negative harvest into fifth. A large percentage of fourth density negative entities continue the negative path from fourth to fifth density experience, for without wisdom the compassion and desire to aid other self is not extremely well informed. 
Thus though one loses approximately 2% moving from negative to positive during the fourth density experience we find approximately 8% of graduations into fifth density those of the negative. Question 47.6 Questioner, what I was actually asking was if 50% is required for graduation from third to fourth in the positive sense and 95% was required for graduation in the negative sense, does this have to more closely approach 100% for graduation in both cases for graduation from fourth to fifth density? Does an entity have to be 99% polarized for negative and maybe 80% polarized positive for graduation? Answer, I am Ra. We perceive the query now. To give this in your terms is misleading for the Ra, shall we say, visual aids or training aids available in fourth density which automatically aid the entity in polarization while cutting down extremely upon the quick effect of catalyst. Thus the density above yours must take up more space time. The percentage of service to others of positively oriented entities will harmoniously approach 98% in intention. The qualifications for fifth density, however, involve understanding. This then becomes the primary qualification for graduation from fourth to fifth density. To achieve this graduation the entity must be able to understand the actions, the movements, and the dance. There is no percentage describable which measures this understanding. It is a measure of efficiency of perception. It may be measured by light. The ability to love, accept, and use a certain intensity of light thus creates the requirement for both positive and negative fourth to fifth harvesting. Question 47.7 Questioner, can you define what you mean by a crystallized entity? Answer, I am Ra. We have used this particular term because it has a fairly precise meaning in your language. When a crystalline structure is formed of your physical material the elements present in each molecule are bonded in a regularized fashion with elements in each other molecule. Thus the structure is regular and, when fully and perfectly crystallized, has certain properties. It will not splinter or break, it is very strong without effort, and it is radiant, traducing light into a beautiful refraction giving pleasure of the eye to many.